She was full of life. For the first time, we're hearing from the family of a woman who was shot to death last night in Centerville. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Lucy Brewer is described by her nephew as upbeat and full of life. Her story shocking her family. Brewer was possibly at the center of a love triangle, according to a Facebook post by the gunman just before the shooting. News 2's Brooke Reese spoke with the victim's family to learn about what unfolded leading up to her tragic death. This is 54 year old Lucy Brewer. She was you know, full of life. She was always, you know, kind of upbeat. Last night at her home in Centerville that she shared with her husband Earl, Lucy was killed. Definitely taken too soon. Brewer's nephew, Jeremy Taylor, says her death has rocked their family, especially because of the circumstances surrounding her murder. Never would have thought she would have even been, even would have known the man, to be honest with you. The TBI says Gary Tidwell shot Brewer and injured another man last night. That man, Taylor says, was Brewer's husband, Earl, who's in critical condition. He's highly loved by everybody in the family, you know, and the whole thing's just a tragedy. Taylor and his wife sharing these photos of the couple with News 2. Totally blindsided. Never, never would have thought. Just before the shooting, Tidwell posted to Facebook his disturbing plans to shoot Brewer along with a suicide note. I mean, the man had pictures on there. I mean, there's no denying that there was something. On top of everything, Taylor explains that it was hard for his family to learn Tidwell had already been convicted of murder back in 2006 when he was sentenced to 17 years behind bars. How he got a gun, you know, I'm sure he got it illegally, he had to have. But, I mean, he was a known felon. But Taylor says it's senseless that his aunt was murdered because of an alleged affair. It was something that was private, and my aunt's husband, Earl, he, he found out about it, and they were working through it. Now, Taylor says that he is just thankful to learn that Earl is expected to recover. Meanwhile, Tidwell is being held without bail in, behind bars in Hickman County. He's been charged with one count of criminal homicide, one count of attempted criminal homicide, and one count of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Bob? Thank you, Brooke.